What a buzz. You what? Are you serious? They've sacked the entire cast of Corrie and hired Les to play all the parts instead. <laughs> I tell you what, the, the Sophie and Chance scenes, they'll be very interesting. <laughs> well, he is called Les, I suppose. <laughs> what? Ava was waiting for me. Oh, well, look, look, Simon, I've got to go. Oh, look, I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right, I can't wait for the surprise. Bye. Everyone, it's Avril Lavigne! <laughs> This way. How are you? Sorry? Do you bite? Do I bite? No, not at all. I'm a little pussy cat. Do you bite? Yeah. Oh, do you? Most people think I do. Wow. Okay. Um, great performance tonight, by the way. Thank you. Absolutely superb. Now, I was reading up on you today. Um, over 30 million albums world worldwide, which is just amazing. And how true is it that it all started with like a talent competition on the radio? to meet Shania Twain. How true is this? Well, um, when I was very young, when I was 14, I won a contest through a, radio sh a local radio station to sing with Shania Twain. And I won and, and did that, and it was really cool. And I had been working on music since I was, like, seven, and writing songs and um, kind of making a name for myself around town. And I did a lot of different things, like fairs, and sometimes would win, sometimes wouldn't. And, um... But no, I ended up getting signed, uh, getting a record contract when I was 16. And the rest is history. Yeah. So how important do you think a show like Britain's Got Talent is? I think it's a really great platform for people and a really great opportunity and chance. And um, it just, it's, it's really nice because it helps young people or just anyone, you know, like to, to fulfill their dream. And it's a really great opportunity. And I think it's awesome and it's fun. It's a really good experience. It's really good to push yourself like that. It's quite intense as well, isn't it, Albert? Yeah, I, I mean, like I said earlier tonight on stage, it's hard to go on stage because it's very abnormal. And to be in the bright lights and have cameras on you, and, you know, it's very nerve-wracking. So to, that's why I always say it's really good to be prepared and practice, you know, they say practice makes perfect, so... Indeed it does. Now, you said you like Jay and James. Well, James, obviously, is now in the final on Saturday, so fingers crossed he's going to be all right. Jay isn't. So what can Jay do now? And I'm sure he's watching, if you are. Hello, James. Mm -hmm. Jay, what should he do? Well, the, what's awesome about Jay was that um, he's, he's 18, mm -hmm. and um, he has a really great voice, and he's really sweet, and um, you can just tell by looking at him. So um, I think this is a really good platform for him, just being on the show in general. And I think he's very likable, and he has huge potential. So it's very positive, and I would just say work really hard, practice, and put in the effort. And You can tell that he's uh, very influenced by Michael Bublé. Mm -hmm. You can tell that, yeah? And that's, that's good. But do you not think he needs to find his own style? You've got your own he style? He will. He's so young that he has, like... He's the, the world in his hands right now, you know? It's like when you're, when you're that young, like I used to cover songs when I was 14. I used to sing Christmas songs in church, gospel songs. I used to cover the Dixie Chicks and, and all kinds of different, thing, different types of music. So music, just do your and, own and, thing. And, and yeah, it's like you have to start somewhere. Yes. And like I said, like the more he does it, the more experience he gets, the better, you know, he'll find it himself. And I, I think he has huge potential. Well, there you go. Jay? Advice from Avril herself. Now, Avril is going to be back later to compete to be crowned Game Lord of Game Lords. Game How Lord. excited are you about that? Lord. Have you got any clue of what I'm talking about? No. No. <laughs> OK, time now. <laughs> so you will. Time now for another break. But don't go anywhere as afterwards. We'll have the very first look at tomorrow's acting rehearsal with our panel. Plus, your winners, Les Gibson and James Hobley, will be here for their first exclusive chat. Don't miss it. Woo! <laughs>